Hello and uh, all that magic here and welcome back to another World of Tanks video and in this video as you can see here we have the one the only KV220 so this is a tier 5 preferential premium tank in my opinion quite <laughs> one of the most OP tier 5 tanks in the game uh, I'll have some links to some other games I've actually had in this KV220. Uh, and yeah, so let's get into the tank. So, it shares a few features from a few tanks. It has the hull of a KV3, the non-upgraded turret of a KV1, and a pretty decent gun on there. The 76mm is 5. So, let's go into the stats of the gun. Oh, engine power is 650, by the way. Uh, so, rate of fire rounds a minute 14. That's pretty good. And if you add equipment, that can go up. Definitely good with equipment. Penetration, 99 of standard rounds. That's okay. And 120. Well, actually, I know standard rounds. Eh, that's meh. Uh, 121 with premium is okay. And let me just say, this is kind of a premium spamming tank if you come up against any heavy tanks at tier 5 or 6 you may need to use a bit of premium here and there but no biggie you're in a premium tank so you'll be making silver anyway aiming time 2.28 seconds that's okay accuracy is 0.45 not good but you're in like you're shooting pretty darn fast and it the accuracy doesn't really matter because you're never really fully aimed in unless you're really trying to snipe in this tank which can work not recommended though so turret armor 90 on the front 75 side 75 rear um someone said it kind of plays like a mouse and I can see where they're coming from because the front of the turrets weak penetrable so if you angle it in the slightest it may bounce off the sides and so on it may bounce off the front if you angle the turret and the sides on the tank the side armor is like 100 on each side and that includes tracks and that's pretty darn good that's actually very good at tier 5 a KV220 cannot penetrate the side of your tank unless it misses the tracks which is pretty sweet so traverse speed 22 it's pretty sluggish kind of yeah it's <laughs> pretty darn sluggish 22 degrees a second is pretty bad let's hop into the other specs on this tank uh, hit points are 690 that's pretty that's pretty reasonable speed limit 33 that's pretty bad although you can get up that speed going downhill maybe a bit faster than 35 going downhill Chassis rotation, 20 degrees per second, pretty bad, and so on and so forth. Below average camo rating, that's understandable. So also, it's 120 in the front, that's the lower plate. The upper plate is very flat, so that can be penetrated, though. So it's not quite 120. And uh, the rear of the tank is also 100 millimeters, so that is pretty sweet. You just don't want to show your rear too much, uh, because, I mean, you can get an engine fire, so try and avoid that. So that is about it for the specs of this tank. Let's get right on into the battle.